When people ask me about some of my favorite figures or generals from World War II, uh, one of the answers that I typically give is Teddy Roosevelt Jr. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt Jr., of course, the son of Teddy Roosevelt, who is my favorite president. He's a very dynamic character, just like his dad. And recently here in St. Mary Glees, well, they have a, a new monument that is dedicated to Teddy Roosevelt Jr., who, who died uh, right here in France during World War II. Oh, well, today, we're not only going to check out this memorial, but also uh, a story that has largely been overlooked, at least among American audiences, connected to Teddy Roosevelt and one of the citizens here in St. Mary Glees. We're at the new monument for Brigadier General Theodore Roosevelt, who was with the 4th Division, who landed at Utah Beach. Right now we're in St. Mary Glees, where near where Theodore Roosevelt died not too long after D-Day. And this is an original photo from our collection at the Gettysburg Museum of History of his funeral that was at the temporary cemetery at St. Mary Glees. Now this video is about not only Theodore Roosevelt, but someone you may not know about, an unsung hero of World War II. A lot of French people know her, but a lot of Americans don't. And that is the mother of Normandy. Her name was Simone Renald, and she was the wife of the mayor of St. Mary Glees. And this photograph was taken in August of 1944 when she was tending to the temporary grave of Theodore Roosevelt. This photograph was published in Life magazine, which means almost everyone in America, or the majority of Americans, saw this photograph. And what happened, the results of that was people started writing to her because a lot of people who had lost their husbands or their sons really didn't know where their son rested. They knew he was in the temporary um, cemetery at St. Mary Glees, but they didn't really know anything about it. So, that, so she started receiving letters addressed to the mayor, or the, the wife of the mayor of St. Mary Glees because of this photograph. She spoke English very well and she started corresponding with those people. She also started taking photographs of their graves and sending them back to the loved ones of those fallen soldiers. She also organized other people to tend to other graves here in St. Mary Glees. And she, her story is absolutely incredible. I, I know her sons and I've actually seen some of the letters in person. And um, again, one of those very, very unsung heroes of World War II that not many Americans know about. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the temporary cemeteries and um, I'll show you some photos of that as well. So Teddy Roosevelt Jr. was a veteran of the First World War, had actually been gassed. Uh, Normandy was his third amphibious invasion. Uh, he had been with the 1st Infantry Division and of course you know, got moved over to the 4th uh, and landed with them on D-Day. Uh, something that's kind of interesting is that while Roosevelt was landing on Utah Beach, uh, his son, Quentin Roosevelt II, was landing at Omaha Beach with the 1st Infantry Division. Uh, now, the, the 4th Infantry Division landed about a mile off course on D-Day, and uh, they have this little plaque here that says, uh, that we'll, we'll start the war from here, okay? So he, uh, he provides a lot of leadership on D-Day. He was 56 years old, the only general to come in on the first wave. Now, he was slated to be promoted to the rank of Major General and take over the 90th Infantry Division, uh, but unfortunately on July the 12th, uh, died of a heart attack and was buried not far from here. 
All right, so that's a little bit on the new memorial dedicated to Theodore Roosevelt Jr. right here in St. Mary Glees. Pretty dang cool, by the way. I like this one. Uh, this, this one gets an A from me. Uh, right now, we are going to kind of hop around and show where some of these temporary cemeteries for the Americans were right here in this area. Before we move on to the next place, we moved uh, into the square here at St. Mary Glees. And here they have a monument to Alexander Renault. He was a World War I veteran and was the mayor here in St. Mary Glees at the time of the Normandy invasion. And on the backside here, uh, they also have a plaque that honors the memory of Simone Renault. We've moved just a little way from the monument. As a matter of fact, the Roosevelt Monument is right over here in this area. Right here is kind of getting into the town square of St. Mary Glees. That's the Airborne Museum that you see in the background. And this is the site where the U.S. Temporary Cemetery Number 1 at St. Mary Glees was located. Uh, so there were 3,000 soldiers who were buried here. And if we look at this monument, we can see that they were comprised of men from the 9th Infantry Division, the 79th Infantry Division, 1st Engineer, Amphibious Brigade, 70th Tank Battalion, uh, the 746th, the 90th Infantry Division, and then over here, the 82nd Airborne Division, 101st Airborne Division, and the 4th Infantry Division, which of course, as we've already mentioned, is the division that uh, Teddy Roosevelt Jr. was providing leadership for. Uh, currently, if we move out from behind this uh, shrub, uh, you can see that the former site of the temporary cemetery is now a, uh, a sports field. Eric brought along a few original photos from the archives at the Gettysburg Museum of History. Uh, this one showing an aerial shot of what Temporary Cemetery Number 1 here at St. Mary Glees looked like. And it actually really looked quite nice. Not really what you would expect a, a temporary cemetery to look, for, uh, to look like. Uh, this looks like something that is more permanent. And then here is a view of the temporary cemetery number one uh, from the ground. So this one, uh, yep, would have been established uh, right here at the edge of town in St. Mary Glees. We're standing at the site of St. Mary Glees' number two temporary cemetery. This is the one where Theodore Roosevelt was originally buried, and the famous picture of Simone Renald was taken tending to his grave. There were originally 5,000 soldiers buried on this site.
We've now moved over to the village of Blosville, and as you can see from this marker right here, this was the site of yet another temporary American cemetery here behind the Utah Beach area. So St. Mary Glees One uh, has about 3,000 soldiers. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that there were also about 1,000 German soldiers who were buried there. Uh, and then there's St. Mary Glees Two. And then this one here, right here at Blosville had about 6,000 American soldiers buried here. Uh, Eric also has uh, a photo um, in his archive that, that shows what this temporary cemetery looked like as well. But anyway, that was a little bit on uh, Teddy Roosevelt Jr., uh, some of the temporary American cemeteries, and Simone Renault, the mother of Normandy.